So there is a new COVID variant, but what does this mean for your exams in 2022? Well, to be honest, I've got no idea what's going to happen and nobody does at this time. However, what we can be certain of is that at some point you will be doing tests or exams which will give you a grade in 2022. And that's especially if you're in year 11, year 12 and doing AS Physics or in year 13. Now, the whole situation, it is going to be something that's going to cause quite a lot of people quite a lot of stress. However, you've got to realise there are certain things that you can control and certain things that you can't. Now, if there are school closures, if there's a partial lockdown, if the 2022 exams are cancelled, that is not your decision. There's nothing that you can do to influence that. What you can control, though, is what you do over the next few months. Because ultimately, if the worst comes to the worst and the 2022 exams are cancelled, then you will still be given a grade, but it's based on your teacher's assessed grade. And plan B is already in progress at the moment. And that means you need to be doing mock exams between now and the summer. Either way, you will either be doing mock exams and a real exam, so you need to make sure that you revise your physics and your other subjects, or you will have mock exams, and then those mock grades will be used to inform the teachers about what grade you should be given. Either way, you will be doing some physics tests and biology and chemistry and other subjects. You will be doing tests in school and therefore you need to prepare for that. Now that means you need to have a revision plan in place. What I'd suggest doing though is talking to your teachers or if you're not confident you can always email them or even have your parents or guardians email the school so that you know when you have mock exams coming up and which subjects are going to be in each exam. And that means you can prepare for those properly, and that means you can show your teachers what you're truly capable of. Now, there's still plenty of time, it's at least sort of six months until your summer exams, and that means um, I've got these guides here that you can buy. Uh, there's a link beneath this video. Uh, you can buy them on my Amazon shop or over on my TikTok shop. And basically, these things here allow you to structure your revision. If you fill this in, that's gonna really help you prepare. The other thing you can do to help you prepare is actually identify areas in the course that you're not so confident about. And you can then go and watch videos either at GCSE Physics Online or A-Level Physics Online. And that means you've got access whenever you need it to all the videos covering all of the course. And if you subscribe to the premium plan or your school currently have a school subscription, that means you can access everything whenever you need it. The other thing that you can do, if you haven't really done so, is just follow me on YouTube and I'll stay, keep you updated with whatever I find out about the exams. Um, but also you can follow me on TikTok. I'm doing loads of live streams at the moment and I've got new videos coming out every day. So if you are on TikTok and you want to see even more physics, you can follow me there. Ultimately though, nobody knows what's happening. There's going to be lots of speculation. Either way, don't worry about that. Just concentrate on studying hard learning all your subjects because you'll either have this information that you can use in class tests and mock exams or that will then prepare you well for your real exams that I'm still 99.98% sure are going to go ahead in summer 2022. We'll watch back this video in a few years and see if I was correct or not. Anyway, that's my advice. Um, but the new variant, it is what it is. But all you can do is just focus on your schoolwork because that's something that you can control.